So the purpose of the family in our day and age is for man and woman to serve together as one, heart, head, and hand in the service of the Christ, to provide this fiery circle against the shocks of the world, to provide the cradle for incoming souls or incoming ideas for creative genius. When we talk about reincarnation and karma and the family, we realize that there are marriages that must take place because of karma. The only way individuals can work out an intense hatred that they have had for one another in past incarnations is through a great and nobling love. Hatred attracts and so does love attract. And sometimes an instantaneous attraction for someone will be love, but it may also be hatred, and that hatred may turn into love, presenting a dichotomy of circumstances in a situation between man and woman. When there are these violent reactions of emotions, you know you are experiencing records of the past, energies that are now to the fore. You realize you are an embodiment to balance these energies. That which frees is love. If you want to be free from someone that you hate, you must love. And so there is the marriage of karma, the marriage of twin flames, the marriage of soulmates, the marriage of brother-sister. That is brother-sister relationships in the spiritual sense. Kindred souls who have worked together in the past come forth. They are married. It's a different type of marriage. It's a successful marriage, but it may have more of the aspect of brother-sister than man-woman. Or at times, it may experience the whole gamut, sometimes father-mother, sometimes child. In any case, not only are man and woman brought together through karma, through cause and effect of relationships in the past, but the children which they bear are souls with whom they also have a karma, a tie of the past. 